Do you know somebody that is hard of hearing? Well, what if they could use closed captioning glasses that literally put the words right in their vision using augmented reality? It's technically possible. Hi, I'm Katie Linendahl, and I am always on the hunt for the latest innovations in technology, especially the ones that can truly impact people's lives. In this series, you're gonna discover amazing gadgets that you never heard of before. So let's go. Every year at CES, there are well over 100,000 gadgets on the show floor. So I have to tell you, after 15 years of attending, the key is to have a game plan. I always research all the technologies in every category and find my favorites. And Xander Glasses was one of my top picks. They sounded amazing, but do they actually work? Bonus, stay tuned to my top five favorite picks that make it on the Today Show. I had high hopes for Xander Glasses, but with the sea of technology at CES, sometimes you read a little description and the products aren't as advertised. But I was especially enthusiastic about Xander because believe it or not, about 20% of the world's global population has hearing loss. And a little bit of a sidebar, as a musician, I'm always bothered by loud noises. In a recent visit to an audiologist, she told me it just takes one moment to have hearing damage. And it makes you think, how often do we love going to those really loud concerts or have our headphones turned up way too loud? So there we were on the CES show floor, navigating what I like to call Tech Narnia. Over 100,000 people, over 100,000 gadgets and technology, and we couldn't find Xander. But quitting is for losers, so we didn't give up. And lo and behold, after going through the entire maze of CES, we found the Xander team at the AARP booth. Have a look. One of the coolest things that I found was Xander glasses, and I could do all the talking, but it's probably better if the Xander team does. <laughs> Tell us what's going on here. Yeah, so we are making smart captioning glasses that are designed specifically for people with hearing loss, hearing challenges, cognitive challenges, where, boy, in a place like this where it's really loud, it's hard for people to hear, even with healthy hearing. Um, when you typically can hear uh, TV, movies, you watch captions. But when you're out in the world, you don't have captions. Uh, but now with Xander glasses, you do. So we have built-in microphones that are capturing what you're saying, translating into text, rendering that in a nice display in front of me so that anytime you're talking to me, I can see subtitles or captions of what you're saying as you're talking. Love it. I'm all about any ways that technology can help assist and got to try these on. Let's do it. Okay. It's an augmented reality panel that is perfectly in line with my vision and it's not distracting from everything else that I see because I thought I was just going to see it like right in my face. It's like almost like an ancillary add-on to my primary focus of the captions that are happening right on screen. It's not obnoxious. It's an added bonus. <laughs> Can you make these in hot pink? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> so after speaking to Alex and Marilyn, I was completely blown away as you just saw. So I followed up with them right after the show ended, but they weren't emailing me back. They were one of my potential top picks for the Today Show. But fear not, give this girl a first and last name and I will find anybody's phone number. I got Alex on the phone and he shared why he was hesitant. I was just honest as I always am and said, I am here to champion new and exciting technologies. It wasn't my job to rip these apart or to find bugs. I wanted people to be excited about this potential new innovation hitting the market. Alex and Marilyn agreed to meet with me further in Boston. What was the genesis of coming up with Xander? For, for Xander, it was more personal. I had a diagnosis of macular degeneration about 10 years ago, and my background was in audio and music technology. I think one of the coolest things is that it's not over complex technology. Well, our big principles are simplicity, reliability, and privacy. What's also nice is all the speech to text technology is built into the glasses, so there's no Wi-Fi, you don't need a smartphone, you can just turn on, turn on the glasses and they'll work wherever you are. And because of not relying on a cloud or anything else, they're super private. We're not recording conversations, there's no privacy issues, there's no wiretapping uh, concerns. It's really just an ephemeral experience that just works. I continue to be a blown away, ease of setup, no additional apps, no Wi-Fi needed, and a huge soft spot for me. Coming from a big, proud military family, they are working with the VA to get these in the hands of our veteran heroes. We, we met another veteran who put the glasses on and it took him a while to realize that, oh my gosh, what I'm seeing is what everybody's saying. This is somebody who usually is completely isolated from conversations. And now he connected, wow, this is what people are saying. And he chimed up and he said, I can understand what you guys are saying. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I haven't been able to participate in the conversation in 20 years. 
so please indulge me. And then he just went on and talked for about 15 minutes about everything on his mind. It was very moving and we all just listened and, and appreciated him. I had about one week after meeting Alex in Maryland to test out the gadgets thoroughly with the help of friends and family. Every gadget and every technology that I put on TV is thoroughly tested because my name is behind it too. Would Xander glasses make the cut? Yeah. Max, so tell us what you see. Um, I see like a green screen and it's, it's subtitles just like a movie and it's coming out as I'm saying it, yeah. Yeah, so everything I'm saying to you right now, you can hear it and then you can also hear it. Yeah, no, it definitely works. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so you move the positioning. Yeah, so. so now I can just glance at it and it's not like super obvious. The final verdict, a big yes. I was so excited to be able to share these on air and now join me behind the scenes on one of America's top TV shows. We're back at 52 with tech expert Katie Linendahl. Katie was kind enough to bring back a few of her absolute favorite innovative discoveries. I always look for the wow factor products, but also the practical ones that can really be impactful in people's lives. A lot of health tech at CES. This was my favorite technology. These are Xander, Xander glasses. Oh. Closed captioning glasses. If you can't hear it, you can see it. That are so incredibly oh, easy to this read is awesome. in real time. Even punctuations included. Yes. So if you've got like an issue with your hearing or you've got some other potential disability, uh -huh. This is, this is perfect. What happened after the Today Show? Like, what was that experience like? We talk about the Today Show bump that we ex experienced. I mean, the, the number of pre-orders through the roof, the number of customer engagements went from, I, I don't know, like 50 times more than we, we usually get. It was really uh, remarkable that a 60 second spot on a national TV program created so much, so much interest, so much buzz, so much awareness. Um, that was just uh, amazing. So if you do know somebody that is hard of hearing, we would love for you to share this video. And of course, we appreciate you hitting that like button or subscribing to future videos with new innovations in technology. I'm Katie Linendahl. Stay tuned and don't give up the ship.